Hey guys, it's your boy Combs from Hydra. Hail Hydra. I just wanted to make a video talking about the state of Marvel Strike Force at this time. A couple things going on. We got the Nick Fury event coming up pretty soon. I feel like that's got uh, some very mixed, uh, mixed opinions right now. Either happy or pretty mad. So... I want to talk about the Nick Fury event, and I want to talk about double drops, and then we're going to try out Kree in Blitz and see if they really are such a useless faction like everybody keeps saying. So, let's first get into it. So, Nick Fury. we got the Nick Fury event here, and it requires Kree minions. So, a lot of people are upset about this because they're saying, well, how is Nick Fury related to Kree minions and... Oh, Kree sucks. I don't want to have to farm them to get Nick Fury. Why can't we use S.H.I.E.L.D.? You know, it's all kinds of stuff. I've heard everything. And some of it makes sense. Some of it doesn't. Um, for example, why do we need Kree minions for Nick Fury? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't really know how they're related. I don't know. But I'm sure that they'll tie it in somehow. Hopefully. Um, I mean, we had Guardians for Star-Lord, obvious. We had S.H.I.E.L.D. for Iron Man. I would have done Avengers, but whatever. So, S.H.I.E.L.D. there. Would make more sense to have S.H.I.E.L.D. for Nick Fury. Um, whatever. If they're following in the footsteps of Galaxy of Heroes, I know that in Galaxy of Heroes they've always had the opposite factions, uh, minus one legendary event. Um, so I don't know, maybe Kree is supposed to be the opposite of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I'm not really super sure on that, but that's what they chose to do. So, let's look at it. Let's check out my Kree. Um, I'm definitely not ready for this event coming up, and that's okay. Um, but I'm close. I'll definitely get him next time. Um, but it seems like a lot of people are angry that it's Kree that are required here, simply because no one expected that. I know that it was thought at one point that it was going to be shield and they were going to change iron man to avengers um i'm not sure that's what i had heard for a long time i don't know if that's valid but that's what i had heard for a long time um so i i don't know i didn't really care that much i mean nick fury's kit was bad before i thought and then they kind of changed it a bit and then they tweaked shield and so now it, now it seems very good um that's kind of it's kind of is what it is at this point for me i'm just whatever um, so, anyways, if you check it out, so I've got my Kree here, um, they're close, um, if I didn't have to have minions only, I could probably make it, because I'd be one, two, three, four, no, I probably still wouldn't make it, I'd be one short, so, you know, it is what it is, but, um, so, I know that I'm not really too broken up about it. I'm just kind of used to this sort of thing, just based on being a long-time Galaxy of Heroes player. I don't know. I'm kind of used to it. You don't typically get the legendary characters their first time around. So that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. I'll get him next time. I'll definitely be ready to at least get him five-star next time. Um, probably not much more than that because these characters are a bear to farm. But anyways, so... Moving on from that, looks like um, a lot of people, what they're saying is that the Kree team is useless. So I want to test those out in Blitz. I did this earlier for a first recording of the video. So I already have them all set up here in a little bit of practice. Um, but my audio was screwed up, so I had to re-record the whole video. So let's just go against this one, and we can just focus in on old crossbones right away. That way he doesn't blow us up. Um, and what I found kind of in testing is that they're really not bad. Um, I think that they're pretty good for Blitz. I think that they could be really good for Blitz if you had them all maxed out. I know that um, the Royal, Cree Royal, she seems to be very strong. Um, especially when maxed out because her assist does so much damage. And grants offense up. And it, it's got a lot going on with it. Um, so let's see. Let's see how much we can do here. Probably not a lot, but let's give it a try. Let's see. You ready? Ah! Alright, yeah, that was... 
not great. But at the same time, they're only level 30 with like level 3 abilities, so hard to say if that's actually bad or not based on the, the context. So they do have good synergy. They grant ability energy to each other a lot, they call each other to assist a lot, and they have a lot of um, like unique abilities that they benefit from by having other Kree. So it's almost like a it's like a less fun Phoenix squad. I don't know if I'd go that far, but so, I mean, we're doing okay. I mean, we're doing work with these guys, but not to <laughs> not that this is anything really. You know, so it's not really any competition. So, but they give a lot of energy to each other, which is interesting to me. All right, let's go ahead and do that regen. I've been able to use this regen almost every turn now because. He just keeps getting energy, so that's pretty cool. I, I don't know if I'm going to win this. <laughs> I don't know. They're just... I don't know. They're okay. Oh, no. Get out of here. I don't know if I win this. I think I lose, but... Oh, maybe not since that. Uh, Do I regen? Yeah, I got some. There we go. Okay. So that was very close. I don't know. I mean, it's... I don't know. I don't know what to think about that, but they're okay. So, um, I don't think they're the worst, but they're definitely not the best. I'll put it that way. So, anyways, oh, my day is refreshing. So we got all this stuff here. Oh, yeah, look at me. Got me give me all these guys. It's interesting how they have these three calendars. I don't know why they couldn't just put all those rewards on one calendar. I feel like it would make people feel better, but... Don't get me started on them taking the cores off the calendar. I don't even... Anyways, so... Basically, um... Just wanted to really touch on... The way that things are now. I know... Um... There were these... Double drops. That's another thing that I really wanted to talk about, just because... I don't really know, like, it seems like Fox Next is doing the double drops, but then they decrease the rate of drop. So it's like, what does that even mean? Like, you get double the drop, so you get four drops, but at a lower drop rate, it's like, I don't know, say for an example, it's like, when you get the two regular drops, say that that is, I don't know, 20% chance to get those. Well, it's like they give you the opportunity for four, but it's like a 10% chance or 5% chance to get the four, and it's like, well... It's worse off than it was before. So, yeah, sure, you have a chance, but... And, I don't know, I haven't really taken a lot of data into consideration, and that may not be true, but I just know that I did the ones for Kree, and I only got eight Kree Reaper, and nothing else of any other Kree. All zeros. So, I don't know what to think about that, but whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I think that Fox Next is just trying to make people like them a little more i know that it's like i mean if you could come in here and say oh yeah look nebula i don't really need her but you know let's do it double shards you come in there say you you do her two levels say you get 15 shards you're gonna be like oh wow thanks fox next that's pretty dope you know what i mean and then it's just you move on and you have a more positive like thought process about fox next um but that's not what happened i think i got four or eight of nebula and i did 180 160 energy on her nodes and so it's kind of like, eh, now it just kind of irritated me a little bit, and now I'm sitting here making a video talking about how it seems fishy and skewed and weird how everything is. So, I don't know. I think that Fox Next, if you guys can do something like that, that's why I want to make this video. hope that you guys are able to see this. Um, just keep working on your image. Try and make things more positive. People will stick with the game. I think you're going in the right direction. Um, the legendary events are cool. Um, yeah, so... And I think it's cool to get new characters. You guys are doing a great job with that. So, all that to say, um, everybody out there, if you're frustrated with Fox Next, I'd say keep chugging along. I think things will get better. They have been getting better. Um, and yeah, so that's all I want to say. So, it's your boy Combs, and I hope that you guys are having a good day, and I'll see you next time. See you later.